Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Mark here. And before we get into an absolutely fantastic video today, at least I think so, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Yeah, first of all, a bit of um statistics from my channel. The watch time from my subscribers is really, really low. All that means is there's more people who are not subscribed watching my videos than there are that are subscribed. I'm not a massive channel by all means, but uh, yeah, the numbers is <laughs> terrible. Rookie numbers, you know? So, yeah, all I ask is basically if you are you're checking out the channel and if you watched a video or two and, you know, you have learned something, you have enjoyed it, definitely click that big red button that says subscribe under the video. It's absolutely free to do. It doesn't cost you a single thing and you can uns unsubscribe at any time. I mean, you'd be doing me a massive favor. And I think if you were subscribed to me, uh, you'd see a couple of things that you'd never thought of doing, like your 3D printer or laser cutter. And I think it would help you as well. So, yeah, really do appreciate it, everyone who has been checking out my channel and subscribing, guys. And, you know, if you're new, you definitely click that subscribe button. All right. Anyway, let's go from it. Let's get going of what we're going to do today. So, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, you're thinking you can't 3D print on a laser cutter. I mean, technically, no, you can't. But all a 3D printed is, it's a bit of plastic that's melted in a nozzle that extrudes. And it just does layer by layer by layer until it's created the 3D model you've input into the system. What we're going to be doing is basically taking a model. So say we've got a 3D model of a cube. We're going to be slicing that up into separate individual bits. And then we're just going to be putting it back together ourselves at the end. So you'll have a 3D model which was made by your, your K40 machine. So let's get into it. The software we're going to be using today is called Slicer for Fusion, Fusion 360. You try saying that fast five times. I think it's impossible. Uh, it's completely free to download on their website. Um, I will put a link in the description. I don't know how long they're going to be keeping this on the website because they don't seem to be doing anything with it at the moment. They haven't done any updates or anything. And um, I, yeah, I think they just put it on the back burner, to be honest with you. But yeah. Uh, I'll, put, I'll put a link in the description, download it and install it. Even if you're not going to be doing this at the moment, do it just in case they do delete it off there. Uh, and what we'll be doing, you can use thingiverse.com to get your 3D models. Like if you could 3D model yourself, you know, create your own 3D model. But I found Thingiverse, if whatever you're doing, just, I just put in bust. You know, there's anything you can think of, it'll be on you. And we can load that into the software. So what we'll do, we'll import our model. There we go. So make sure you change this bottom option here to Z or Z because that's going to be an up and down. Otherwise, your model will be facing the wrong way. And this bit of software is it's, it's not the best for orientation. And I'm going to be using a model of my head. So if you'd ever wondered what I did look like, there's my mug on the screen. It's a 3D model of me. This was done pre-COVID. Um, I've probably aged like 25 years since, uh, since lockdown beyond zoo. And I've grown a beard, which is not there. Anyways, if you do find that this software is not loading your model, I have found it doesn't like really large models. It likes to crash. I've got a high-end PC, and um, with really large models, I found it didn't work. Autodesk do have another bit of free software you can get. It's called Autodesk Mesh Mixer. Fantastic bit of software. It's completely free, and it's easy to use. So I'll just show you. You would just load your model up. So import, find your model. Again, it's my head. On your left-hand side here, you've got some options. So all you need to do is just go select, Control and A to select it all, and then edit and reduce. Now we'll do it by percentage, that's all we need. And at 0% doesn't do anything, 100% completely reduces it down to a single polygon. So I mean 50% is fine, that's okay. Once you've done that, just go File, Export. So you can either export it as an OBJ or STL, um, I know a slicer for Fusion accepts both. Anyway, so once you've done that and you have managed to get your model in, it should look like this, and it should be facing the right way. I'm hold, I'm right clicking and holding that down, by the way, to to move it around. So on your left hand side, you've got your options here, and in the options, I've got my own custom options there for K40 three millimeter. So that means it's. I just know it's for the K40 and it's going to be for three millimeter material. So on the left hand side there, you see you've got a pencil. You can make your own. 
all you do is you just click the add material let me just delete some of these because i've just done these uh for the purpose of the video but i've had to re-record it so say for example you haven't got any there you just press add and then you just put whatever you want in there and job done so once you've created it and selected it on the right hand side you'll get your options i work in millimeters it's just easier if you work in inches or centimeters whatever you can work in that so you get your length and your width i've put that you know roughly the size of an a4 piece of paper because that's what my k40 can cut and the thickness so whatever thickness of material you're going to be cut in so if it's just like a bit of plywood you know standard three mil ply you put in your three millimeters i've slightly you know i've put a little bit more on top of it so when you're cutting it out it's just easier to put the pieces back together just mean that little bit will make a difference but again if you're using you know like acrylic or something or you've got a thinner piece of wood you know you go for your 1.5 uh, or cardstock 0.5 so we'll go k43 millimeter is fine once you've uh once you've done it make sure you select it from here because it will just select the default one uh now back to our object size so this is the size of the actual model so i'm going to take it down to 75 again this is completely up to you as just make it as big as you want once we've shown how many pages we're going to be using in the cuts you can make some adjustments there so i'm just going to go with 75 at the moment and now you've got your construction technique so we're only going to be really using the top two that's all you're going to need so first of all we'll have a look at interlocked slices so as you can see that has sliced everything up there into individual bits and it's made like a puzzle out of my head and each one of these is three millimeters thick so on the right hand side you can see here we've got two sheets and there's 20 individual parts so if you've ever seen these before you know what they are so what it'll do you'll take it to your laser cutter and then you'll just cut these individual bits out and these little slight slots here they interlock you put them together so see if i can click on that so you've got your it's numbered so you've got your y and your z or z so these ones are going to be in the y the front to back and then the z is going to be up and down so there's lots of things you can do here you can make lots of separate different pieces if they turn red it just means there's an error so yeah just keep messing with it until you uh until you get it so it's all perfect like that if you get ones which are which just show blue it just means it's not connected to anything so yeah have a mess around with the numbers and see what you can uh, see what you can achieve i would suggest mind not doing loads just because it's an absolute faff to try and put it together but like i said with that little bit we've put on there that uh extra what's that sort of half a micron is it it should make it easier to slide them pieces together because you have a little bit more give and it should be easier for you but yeah if this is your first time doing it go down to maybe you know eight by eight or until you don't get any marks see with these two little pieces here they're floating you can delete these two pieces they're not really going to make too much of a difference anyway so have a mess around with that you've got your notch factor which any of these really don't make too much of a difference 45 degrees yeah that's absolutely fine and you can adjust this notch factor to uh to help with with the slicing in there but yeah just leave it at point one and just make your material a little bit thicker and it'll be fine so once you're happy with everything you can change the direction of your slices so you can move that to go that way so 90 degrees well it doesn't mean you, know, you can do two degrees if you want to do and then you can also do it's going to let me turn around you can do it that way as well completely up to you whatever you know whatever you're trying to achieve at the end of the day but i'd be happy with that that little bit on the end maybe you'd go up a couple but yeah that's absolutely fine i'm i'm happy with that that's all gravy but this is with three mil say if you were going with a thinner material you'd have more resolution on it and again adding more parts would definitely be beneficial because you can see there's a lot more detail to it that way but we'll go back to three mil and we'll go what were we looking at eight i think it was wasn't it 
8 by 8 8 by 9 yeah perfect there we go modify form I wouldn't worry about that you can't undo it once you've done it so I honestly wouldn't bother so assembly steps all this does you can change cardboard plywood and plastic and it'll just show you step by step the pieces in there and how to assemble it now this will be really handy once you've cut it all out because it tells you what the part is and how you put it together and yeah so make sure you keep that so yeah okay once you're happy with everything you've selected everything you just click uh click get plans and that shows you this is two pages then and i forgot i forgot how many pieces were so 17 parts on two sheets so yeah again as long as you're happy down your pdf export as pdf makes it a lot easier export that and uh, this is just going head on the computer yeah load that job done so now we're going to import this into inkscape inkscape accepts pdf thing is it only do one page at a time so we've only got two pages luckily so we'll do the first page i'm going to rotate it because that's the orientation it needs to be select all object and just ungroup everything you probably can't see the ungroup for some reason it's showing up on my other monitor so object ungroup and you'll notice if they're all separate parts delete the border you don't need that bit again control and a select everything object ungroup again and now we're going to select everything and change the stroke color to red and i'm happy with that so what i tend to do i like to delete the numbers just makes it a little bit neater and a little bit easier just so all i'm doing is cutting out i'm not doing any engraving obviously if you did want the numbers to be on there you just change the uh the color to black and they should be engraved on the piece once you're done and if you notice it doesn't like to put them in the best place so yeah just deleting them off altogether i find just easier and then keep them in a, a separate pile so page one cuts and then page two as a you know another pile so you know which direction you're going in and once they are cut out you can just check the pdf and you can just number them as and when so say so that's page one done you've saved that and then you'd go import again head and then page two and we do exactly the same with that you'd rotate that oh well let's just center that again object ungroup i'm just going to do it again object ungroup again remove the border select all and we're going to change the stroke to red and again delete all the letters like i said you don't have to delete the letters if you don't want to you just change into black to be engraved but dealer's choice at the end of the day so there we go and then you save that as well and then you just load that up and into whatever you use i use k40 whisperer to uh, load into the printer into the printer into the uh the laser engraver and you just cut them out and then you just put them together as per as per this it is literally that easy okay so now what we're going to do is go to the other options like i said in this construction technique you've got two choices you can really choose for your laser cutter and the other one is stacked slices so this one it's a little bit easier there's more bits to it but it's a little bit easier to work with because all you are just cutting them out and just stacking them on top of each other so once once you've chosen you know your thickness and everything there and there is how you want it you can pop some dowels in so let's go back to the top it'll give you two dowels and you can just drag and move them so all that means is it just creates two holes directly through the middle of the whole thing so when you're putting it together you just put dowels through the middle and through those holes just so it all aligns up perfectly for you so that's with three millimeter uh material but if you notice you've got a 1.5 you get a lot more resolution on there you've got a lot more parts 
but you do get a lot more resolution. See this part, it says it's floating on top. Again, you, you're you not going to need that. You can delete that bit. So, and then again, if you want to go even thinner, so if, if you want to do this with cardstock, 0.5 millimetre, 212 parts on 20 sheets. That's a lot. But again, then you could, you know, shrink your model a little bit. It's only 140, uh, 142 parts and seven sheets. But I mean, you can move these around. You know, you can change that to six sheets. Easy. But again, that's completely up to you. Whatever the thickness of your material is going to be, you do it how you want it. And then obviously the assembly is just putting the bits together. It is nice and simple. Everything's numbered really clearly on these. And it's happy days with that. So I can clearly see, like I, like, I know that it's the shape of my head. I mean, that'd be good in the garden to scare the crows, wouldn't it? So yeah, once you're happy with that, again, export. That's page one. Was it, was, it was, oh yeah, there was only one page with this because we're doing it at three mil. So it's li literally, this will just be one sheet of A4 PM of three mil, whatever you'd be using. And you just cut them out and follow it. So you go one, two, three, four, and you just follow it as in there. So let's just export this as PDF as well. Um, head stack, we'll call this. Uh, where are we going? Back into K40 Whisperer. So I'm just going to go import. Uh, where's the head stack? So yeah, one sheet. Absolutely happy with that. Click and rotate. I'm just going to line that now to the center. And then we're just going to object and ungroup everything. Uh, we'll object and group everything again, actually, because we want to get rid of the border. We're going to want everything to be red. And then the numbers, again, you can either delete the numbers or you can just change them to black to be engraved. Again, that is dealer's choice. So I'm just going to change them all to black. Anyway, get my point. <laughs> so yeah, these little bits, I, mean, I don't actually know what they are or what they're for. So yeah, delete those little bits on the inside of anything. And yeah, you can just send that to your laser cutter and then it'll just do an engraving pass of the black bits first and then it'll cut out the red after. Well, it depends which way you do it, to be honest with you. And then with that, again, you go back to here, assembly steps. Not that you need it, it should be fairly straightforward because they're numbered. And you just stack them. Anyway, yeah. So, guys, it's nice and simple to do. You can't really go much wrong with it. The assembly is going to be, obviously, the hardest bit with it. Especially if you are doing uh, interlocked slices. But have a play around with it. See what works best for yourself. And have a bit of fun with it. Like I said, you ain't limited to just heads, mind. You can do... Uh, I don't even know. Car. You could make a car with it. There's, there's loads of stuff you can do. Just have a play around with it and uh, see how we get on with it. All right, guys. So, yeah, we'll end the video here. Any any questions or comments? And like, yeah, do put it down in the comment section. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, click that big red button that looks like that. Subscribe. I really do appreciate it if you do. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. ta -ra.